Washington has been good at home. They have beaten a couple of quality teams already, Stanford and Oregon State. Yogi Roth joins us, and we get the kickoff going in a moment from Seattle on the Pac-12 Networks. Third and 13. Mickens, the man in motion across the middle. Price has other ideas. Far sideline looking to Cason Williams. Makes the catch and is very near a first down. You can hear the crowd booing the spot of the ball. Scott and Anderson flanked to the near side. Man in motion. Here's Wilson rolling out. Under throws White. Makes a nice catch. Gets it across to the 42-yard line before he is upended by Shaq Thompson, who figures to be in on a number of plays tonight. That's a good icebreaker for Brian Johnson, the offensive coordinator, and his young quarterback, Wilson, on the handoff. He lost it, but falls to the field to regain possession. Four wide receivers, two left, two right for Wilson. Back to throw. Shovels a forward handoff intended for White. It got by him. He has to be among the top few players in the country. Keith Price will get it started. Turns the handoff, bouncing outside with a big gain across the 30-yard line. Comes Bishop Sankey, who's been on fire. Bishop Sankey, who was the understudy, or they intended him to be the understudy, behind Jesse Collier until Collier went out with an ACL tear in the first game of the year against San Diego State. Opening the door to Sankey, who picks up 17, and now adds on. He likes to surf. Can you imagine him 6'6 on the back of that board? Hands off to White, finds a seam, and then is overrun at the line of scrimmage. Now he's going both ways here tonight. Here's the handoff to White. Stutter steps and is knocked down and thrown for a loss. Three offensive linemen who were supposed to start this year out with injuries. They put it together beautifully here lately. And due in large part to this man, Bishop Sankey, who again gains a large chunk of ground. Good for the first down. Bishop Sankey stopped by Trevor Riley. And look at the block by Jonathan Amosa and the comeback by Sankey off of that block on the ISO. Another great job, nice vision, nice running on instincts for Sankey to get this ground game going. The handoff, skipping off right tackle to Sankey. Price in the shotgun. Steps up, has running room, won't take it, dumps it across the middle. Casey Williams makes the catch across the 45-yard line. <laughs> That's why he's out there in the Wasatch Mountain Range. Here's Wilson. Throws to the man, slamming across the middle. That was Matthews with a catch and quickly upended rather rudely there by Travis Feeney. Good stop. The sophomore tight end lines up on the right side of the line. On a third and four for Utah. Flicks it near side to White, and he juggles the ball incomplete. It's going to be even better once the complete upgrade is done. Price gets steady in the pocket. Zips a pass to midfield. It's caught by the big tight end, Austin Safarian Jenkins. Among tight ends, catching the football this year so far. This is Price again, going up top. Has a target left side. And it is Bruns with a catch. Cody Bruns having a big night tonight, senior night. Price, quick drop. Drops a pass over the middle. Grabbed by Sankey, bounces outside 20. Gets across for the first down. Second and seven. Going left side. And Price is back. Throws near side. Fades a pass in the end zone. Caught by Cason Williams. Utah says he was juggling the ball. Indication is touchdown. Oh, this is outstanding. The pressure inside. Price gets blasted by Lotulele. And let's see if Williams gets the foot down. That's awfully close. I think I saw a sliver of green right there. I think that's a touchdown, Kevin. Right there. There it is. And if that's the NFL, he gets both feet down. And just as beautiful as a pass was the catch by Williams. Williams from Skyline High School in Sammamish. Travis Coons adds the extra point, and Utah has the lead, 8-7. No track, 70,000 screaming people. It's going to be really fun. It seems like it's just going to be everything that a coach could possibly dream of. The Holiday Bowl win against Nebraska. The win in the Alamo Bowl last, or the loss, I should say, against Bishop Sankey on the ground. 
ton of steps, works right side, slithers between two defenders, and a pickup of eight on the play. Fakes the handoff to White. White chip blocks. Wilson looking long. This one to Anthony Denham. He's all down from behind, and it's tipped away. Second and ten. Three wides and a tight end for Utah. And they go up the middle to John White. Intercepted. Timu flags on a play. Timu 30 run out of bounds to the far side. But watch Timu. Watch how he flips his hips and he reads the eyes of Travis Wilson. This is just a nice job. He opens up to the right, flips his hips, breaks on the ball and makes a great interception. That's just an outstanding job of playing the inside zone there at the linebacker position for John Timu. The Utah Utes. Here's a pass to a tight end. Michael Hartfixon comes up to make the catch. Check that, Evan Hudson. Been there many, many years with Kyle Whittingham. Here's a handoff to Sankey. And he slashes through the Utah defense to get out to the 48-yard line. Two wides to the near side. This is Safarian Jenkins in motion off the near edge. Price is back, pumps, fires a bullet across the middle. Wide open is Minkins, makes the catch. Tumbles down to about the two-yard line. Jadon Mickens, who dropped the ball, it would have gone for about a 68-yard touchdown last weekend against Cal. Comes up big that time, looked it all the way into the hands before Brian Blecken hauled him down from behind. Yeah, you nailed it, Kevin. Remember last week, they had an opportunity to go downtown with Jadon Mickens. He drops the ball. Do you think he lost any confidence? That's just a great way of responding they call his number one more time downfield, and this time he comes down with a play. Looking across the line at Starlo to Lelea, Utah. Here he is, flushed out of the pocket. Price tumbles into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Watch the second level clear out. Price sees his receivers are downfield. Both linebackers are in the end zone. And he takes what the defense gives them and gets into the end zone for their second score of the game. Keith Price, who has lost five fumbles over the last five games, sure handed that time into the end zone. Wilson pressured on the edge, eludes a rusher, throws it out of bounds. Andrew Hudson digs in up front for Washington. Wilson has the ball batted away. Forward pass narrowly tipped away and a good stop by Washington to take on the Jets. Price unloads. Safari Jenkins avoids a tackler and gets across the 30 yard line. And he is tonight. Here's the handoff to White again. Makes a hard cut. May have slipped trying to launch his body forward. Fourth and one. Utah's going to go for it. Wilson hands off to White. Samisi Tokolahi did a nice job on Tavita Stevens also. So that's two nice plays in a row for John Timu. Let's see if they did just enough to stop the first down. Well, that's short. Washington stops Utah and they take over you have the football at the 43-yard line. Price back to throw. Fires it far side, complete, and out near a first down is Cason Williams. Fakes the handoff, drops back, steps up, fires a pass, complete to the 10 yard line. Austin Safarian Jenkins makes the catch before he has run out of bounds at the nine. Boy, Price has been so efficient 15 to 21, 181 yards and a touchdown. He has not turned the football over. Back to pass, got rid of it. Bangs a man wide open across the middle. Touchdown, Washington. DeAndre Campbell with his second touchdown reception of the year. Yeah, nice job. They empty out the backfield. They spread out the Utah defense. Keith Price finds his guy, DeAndre Campbell, who is all alone. Completely unaccounted for and a pretty impressive drive for Washington to take the ball over on downs and get a touchdown. Here's the snap now. And Price 
and he took over at the corner spot earlier this season has been outstanding. Charles Henderson back to field the punt is dislodged ball loose Washington indicates that they have the ball and they do at the 46 yard line of Utah. Turn it over we eliminate big plays and we make six to eight big plays of our own price trying to make something happen rolls out hard rush throws down the field leaping to make the catch Austin Safarian Jenkins inside the 20 yard line of Utah Utes and he salutes the crowd. He wants Keith Price to trust that when he throws the ball up to his tight end and Casey Williams, that they're going to be able to get themselves open, go up and get the football. There you see the great basketball ability of the big tight end making a play for his quarterback. Second and ten. Austin Safarian Jenkins one-on-one. -on -one. The boy trying to corral him is a... Real job for Reggie Topps, who was dragged along for a couple of yards. Here's Price with a handoff. This is Sankey, dispatched to the one-yard line. They get to the line of scrimmage. Quick snap. Scoops it outside of Sankey, trying to win the edge. He will, and Sankey is into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Well, Safarian Jenkins had a big play to get them down the field, and there he does a great job blocking on the outside. And that allowed Sankey to get to the edge and sprint into the end zone. Glory from him, but you can't quibble at all with a nice play breaking up the slant from Ducre, but I thought that ball came out a little late from Wilson. Drez Anderson is the man in motion for the Utes. Wilson is back. Zips a pass across the middle. And there he is, Timu diving out and deflecting the ball away. Big stop by the youngster, the sophomore from Long Beach, California. And how about that for coming back into the game and trying to make an impact? Again, short slant pattern inside. They tried to go with the slant outside the play before. Ducre breaks it up. Now they attack the linebackers and Timu making another impact play. Got a lot of action. Move from the outside to the inside this year. Big hole up the middle. Here he comes, Sankey, first down and more to the 40-yard line before he is knocked out of bounds. Boy, Bishop Sankey has been phenomenal tonight, and he is over 100 yards for his night's work. Yeah, the right tackle really makes this happen. Watch the down block right there. And Sankey, who has his shoulder square to the line of scrimmage, sees it. I mean, that block by Ben Riva, he washes the defensive lineman down past the other hash mark. And that is excellent movement up front. And that's why you see the big run from Bishop Sankey. It's around midfield to make something happen. 25 fumbles forced. Here's White. Has to backtrack, and Washington gets on it. Here's a direct snap now to Wilson. Flushed out of the pocket, on the run to his left, throws to the right. That was nearly picked off. Kenneth Scott, the intended receiver. Shaq Thompson nearly had a pick six. Ball down around his shoestrings. Shaq nearly gathered it in. For years to come. Third and 12, bad snap. Wilson goes down and get it. And he's going to be rushed and brought down at the 40-yard line. Put ourselves at risk here. We want you healthy for the year. And they paid off. He had 33 touchdown passes last year's sophomore year. Two-by-two two formation. Price flushed out of the pocket on the run. He's going to pick up the first down and then dance out of bounds across the 30-yard line. And again, a great decision by Price. He'll hand off to Sankey. Streaks diagonally toward the far sideline. Of course, they picked up a couple of tremendous wins here against ranked teams that were both in the top ten at the time against Stanford and Oregon State. Here's Price back to throw, avoids the rush. Scrambles out to the right, a Starlo to Lele to beat, and does easily across the edge, and out of bounds, and a first down. First and five, and again they go to Sankey, and he just seems to get stronger as the game goes on. First down for the Huskies. Price hands off to Sankey again and again. He catches the defense. Four wides now. Near side. Here he comes, rumbling. Avoids two tacklers. And Austin Safarian Jenkins is finally brought down at around the 30-yard line. That was outstanding running. Look at the balance of this young man. Yeah, 6'6", 266 pounds. And two Utah defenders have a chance. Eric Rowe, the free safety, Reggie Tops, the nickelback. But that is absolutely no match for a tight end that big running that fast.
That ties the Washington record for tight ends. Career receptions with 95. He ties Mark Bruner. Keith Price drops back to pass, throws near side, leaping grab, diving out to get it was Austin Safarian Jenkins. He was lunging out and made the catch. It's a great throw and catch. Mo Lee had it almost intercepted this ball. But because Keith Price threw it to the outside of Austin Safarian Jenkins, Mo Lee didn't have a chance. And he has now become the career receptions leader for tight ends at all time at Washington. Hard count draws Utah offsides. And the flags fly. First and ten for the Huskies. Here's the toss outside to Sankey. Cuts it inside. They've run the ball extremely well. Well, Steve Sarkeesian said we haven't put together a complete game yet. Here is Sankey. Nearly broke it for the touchdown. And it's pulled down in the second level at the three-yard line. Not a bad combo. Not a bad combo at all. Here's Sankey again. He'll race into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Bishop Sankey, his second of the night. And his 13th of the year. Four-yard touchdown run for Senke, who was over 150 yards on 32 carries. And don't forget about the block by number 88, mm -hmm. who seals the edge. That's on Trevor Riley, the linebacker. Wilson brought down. Wilson brought down on a hard rush as things collapsed around him. Andrew Hudson came in to get him. Back to throw. Wilson got smacked as he threw the ball and nearly intercepted. Washington indicating that they may have picked it off. They didn't. Fell aimlessly to the turf. So that may be Utah's last hurrah with 344 remaining in this game. Wilson back to throw. Hard rush. And the young man is hauled down. And the ball gets free and recovered by John White. Boy, for Utah, you just want to get out of here with your quarterback healthy. And it looks like they will as this game has come to an end with Washington winning tonight 34 to 15.